Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue Niagara Texture Samplers with Static Meshes in Unreal 4. And for this example, we're going to use this awesome Nerf Bullet. So as you can see, I've imported a model, which is this Nerf Bullet, and it's using one material. It's this material instance with three textures applied to it. And those three textures are an AORM, Immune Occlusion, Roughness Metallic, a base color, and a normal. So to get this started, I'm gonna to go to my effects folder, I'm gonna right click, go to effects, and I'm gonna create a blank emitter from an empty template. I'm gonna name it NE, whatever you want. And I'm gonna open it up and I'll save it. Now, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set up our static mesh. So I'm gonna to go to my emitter update and I'm gonna make a spawn rate. And I'll set that to something crazy like 3000. And then in particle spawn, we want to go down to location and we want a static mesh location. And we'll get this error. It's basically asking for another module, sample static mesh. So we'll click on fix and it'll give us that sample static mesh. And in here, we want to click fix issue. And then we want to put in our mesh for the preview mesh and the default mesh. In my case, it's that nerf bullet. So I'll put it in both of them and I'll click and I'll click around to get rid of that caution error. And then I'm going to come to initialize particle to the sprite size mode and I'm going to change this to uniform for now. And I'll make this a little bit smaller to something like 2. And we'll zoom in to see what the size is on that. Might even want it to be a little bit smaller, maybe 1. And that's great. Now we need to set up our texture sample. So I'm gonna to go to particle spawn and I'm gonna go down to texture and we want sample texture. Now in here you can put whatever texture you want, but I'm gonna put my base color for my nerf bullet. And if you have this error, which is compile error, it's saying that the sample texture doesn't work on the CPU. So you have to make sure that you go to the emitter properties and you turn on sim target as GPU. And then you also want to turn on fixed bounds. And then I'll save it. Now if we come back to our sample texture, we need to put something into the UVs. And this is actually a lot easier than the grid location. So if we turn on the view options for show parameter rights, we know that we have sampled color and sampler UVs in the sample texture. But in the static mesh location, we have alive, alive, position, position. Those aren't useful. But if we go to sample static mesh and we open this up, you'll see that there's particles, sample, static mesh, mesh UV. So we can use those in our UVs. So if we come over to our parameters window and we open up our particle attributes, we should be able to open this up a little bit and you should see particles, sample, static mesh, mesh UV. So if we go and drag and drop that in, this should work. But we do have one last thing that we have to do. Now we need to add our color. And once again, we can't go up to initialize particle and change the color mode. This has to happen in an order of operation. So after our sample texture, we're going to add color. And in this color, we're going to use that sample texture sampled color. So we'll click on the drop down. We'll go to link inputs, output, and we'll get that sampled color. And we'll save it so it'll compile. And now you'll see that our texture is showing up on our particles. And from here, we can add any bells and whistles that we want. So I'm gonna add a scale color. And I'm gonna change the scale RGB to a float so that I can just adjust the intensity, not the colors individually. And then we're gonna change that float to a curve. And this curve will leave the first key at one, and then the last key, we'll set that to something like 60. So we get a lot of bloom in here. And then I'm gonna come in here to particle update, and I'm gonna add a vortex force. I'll click on fixed issue, so we get solve forces and velocity. And I actually want a vortex along the X. So I'm going to zero out the Z and put in 
0.5 the vortex access and maybe that's a little too much it looks kind of cool though 0 0.2 0 0.1 let's just see what happens when we play it Increase that, and we're going to lower the vortex force amount so it doesn't get as crazy. And now I'm going to go into my emitter properties, or I'm going to go into my emitter state, change this to self. We want the loop duration to be once. And then we'll make this something like five seconds. And under initialized particle, we'll change the lifetime to something like two. And then we'll play that. Okay. Now we can adjust our vortex force a little bit more. So at its most, it'll get to about here. All right, so I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna create a Niagara system and I'm gonna name this correctly, NS, so that we can use this. I'm gonna delete our mesh in there. And now I'm gonna create a blueprint so that we can make a projectile so we can see how this effect is actually working. So I'm gonna create a blueprint class from an actor and I'll name it BP whatever you named it before, and I'm gonna open that up. Now in here, I'm gonna add my static mesh first. And in the details panel, I'm gonna look for my nerf bullet. I'm gonna drag this onto the default scene root, and then under the static mesh, I'm gonna add a Niagara particle system. And in the details panel for this, I'm gonna add that new Niagara system that we just made. And we can see that it's spawning on there, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna compile that. We're gonna add a projectile really quick. And in projectile, I'm gonna set the gravity to zero and I'm gonna set the initial speed to 300. I'll compile, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna close out of that. I'm gonna drag this blueprint in, put it about right here. And we're gonna play but we want to play and simulate so we can see what's going on as it moves. Cool. So from here, once again, you can add any of the bells and whistles that you want. If you want to turn this into more of a projectile, there's some other videos on projectiles that you can check out. But if this was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.